Welcome back to Patio Cooking. We're doing that easy chicken alfredo roll up out here on the patio. Let's get started. Pound and a half of trimmed and clean chicken breast. What we gotta do now is get this thing even. How we're gonna do that to this little meat mallet. You can see how thick it is here. We're trying to get it this thickness all the way around. So I'm gonna take my chicken breast, open this bag up, don't get too crazy. And then just start beating that chicken. And you can see right there, we have really got this thing thin. Let's do it with this other one. Chicken thin. now we gotta get this thing seasoned up. A Little bit of olive oil, rub it around. And I do a simple seasoning on this, nothing too crazy. I'm just gonna take a little bit of salt, some black pepper, a little bit of garlic, Italian seasoning. Do the same for the other side. We got this chicken seasoned up. Now we're gonna get it over to the grill. All right, so I got my Traeger running at 375 Fahrenheit. Let's get this chicken on the grill because it wouldn't be cooking on the patio if we didn't add some extra flavor. Ooh, it's already smelling good. We're gonna give this about 15 to 20 minutes or until it reaches 165 Fahrenheit inside. But in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and get started on that sauce. All right, so while this bacon's frying, let's get this sauce together. We got one stick of butter, one cup of this heavy whipping cream. A little bit more, all right. We'll mix that around, bacon flip. Oh, oh, one whole block of cream cheese. Put it in there. Of course, I'll separate it up, my little spatula deal here to a few manageable pieces, but it'll melt on down. And while I'm doing that, half a cup of that Parmesan. Oh yeah. We'll just let all that cheese melt down. So now that that cheese is all partially melted, we're gonna start seasoning this thing up. About a teaspoon of pepper, salt to taste. I'm probably using about two teaspoons right here. Teaspoon of Italian seasoning, teaspoon of garlic powder, some red pepper flake. Once we get all this incorporated and this gets melted down good, this is what we're gonna have to decide. Do we add more liquid or are we happy with the consistency? And a lot of that's just gonna be on you. All right, so now that this cheese is mostly melted, just know that when you're cooking this stuff, you do not wanna get this cheese too hot. What'll happen is this thing will separate and it'll become gritty. So just be aware of your temperature. Like I said, I'm doing medium low and then I'm still gonna let this thing simmer for about 10 more minutes. So I'll put about another one third of a cup in there. And like I said, after this, I will taste, re-season, taste, re-season. And that's, uh, that's how you get this sauce good. So let's go ahead and give this thing a little taste. Woohoo! That is where it's at. I don't need to add nothing to this but that bacon. All right, so this bacon's done. Let's get it off, get it chopped up, and get it in this sauce. So we got a half pound of bacon chopped up real fine, just like this. Now we're just gonna add it in our little little bowl right here. And we're gonna save some of this just to garnish the top. Let's go over here and add it to the sauce. Chicken time, chicken flip. So let's check the temp of this chicken. All right, so 161, that's where we wanna be. We definitely don't wanna take them too far because they're gonna cook another 35, 40 minutes back in the Traeger once we get it all incorporated. So pulling it a little bit early is not gonna hurt anything. So let's get this chicken on the board and get it cut up. So we got our chicken on the board right here. What we wanna do now is we just wanna get this thing chopped up rough. So this is the kind of chop that you're looking for, and man, you have to try it. Whew. Telling y'all, don't overcomplicate the chicken seasoning on this. This is all you need. It is flavor popping, I guarantee it. Get you a little bowl, put all your chicken in, add a little bit of this bacon, combine all your cheese. I got a pound of Italian cheese in here. That's just one bag, 16 ounces. I'll mix all that up. So we've got half our cheese, bacon, all mixed together. We're gonna take a little bit of this Alfredo sauce. Not too much. Maybe just a little bit more. Yeah, about that much. And we're gonna make like a paste. You can slice that chicken up a little bit better if you need to. If you'd like to throw in some spinach, go ahead. We're just gonna keep it just like this. All right, we got our nine by 13 cast iron lodge right here. I'm gonna spray it down. Once I got that sprayed down good, take a little more of this Alfredo sauce, about that much, and just kind of spread that out on the bottom. This is just gonna help any of that from sticking. Oh yeah. Let's roll these things up. Al dente noodle, right here. What we're gonna do is just kind of sit that in the pan because we're working with limited space. We'll just kind of spread it out on that noodle. You don't want to get too much, but y'all are getting the idea. 
Big thing that I've learned with this is you need to leave some of that end open. You get too much to just tear your noodle up. So just like that. And then you want to take this thing and just start the rolling. Oh yeah. And there goes one. I'll do them sideways just like that. And this will do about 10, this mix right here. I always make a couple of extra noodles because you're probably going to tear some up. I always do at least one. Mixture. You don't got to be stingy. Maybe just a little bit more right there. Start your roll. It's a little weird rolling these, but it'll all work out. Just remember that. So check it out. Here it is right here. So I thought I could get 10 out of here, but as you can see, I, I got a little heavy handed on the meat with these three, but that's okay. We're going to make it work. It's going to eat the same. These are just going to be the, you know, these are going to be mine. So anyway, we'll pour this Alfredo all over this. Oh yeah. And get it all out of there. Then I kind of spread it out. Then we're going to go with our rest of our little cheese and Parmesan mixture. Put that over the top, just like that. Bacon time. And I like to add a little more Italian seasoning on top. Flavor town, you hear me? All right, so now that we got these things all made up, we're going to cover this in aluminum foil, get them on the grill. All right, so I'm running this Traeger 375 Fahrenheit. Just gonna go right in the center right here, shut her down. We're not gonna look at it, do nothing for 30 minutes. We'll be back. After 30 minutes, we got it pulled. Let's look at this thing. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. At this point, if you're cooking this in the oven, this is where you wanna put it in for another 10 minutes and put your broiler on. We don't have that option out here on the patio, but we got this torch. So we got them torched. We gave these things a little bit of color. The only thing left to do now is to try this thing. I'm about to get this little one right here, the little sampler. Oh yeah, y'all know that thing's looking real good. Get it down on the plate here. Are y'all seeing this? It is smelling amazing. Let's give this thing a try. Y'all know it's gonna be hot. Oh my God. Mm. Oh, this is one of the best things we've ever made on this channel. I'm telling y'all, the bacon, the Alfredo, that grilled chicken brings this whole thing to the next level. Listen, my daughter wanted to come out here and tell y'all something. Let me get her real quick, and she's going to end this for us. Hello. This is my daughter, Ada Jo. She just wanted to tell y'all something. Bye, your channel. Thank y'all. Till next time.